Hi, welcome to a Chili Chun hot sauce review where we got a little something that came from Hedonist in the Hot Ones box, I guess last month, not the current one. Um, Mark's Barbados style hot sauce from Montreal, Canada. It's just a beautiful color and I kind of dig the label design or the lack thereof where they're kind of like, hey, our sauce is pretty. Let's just put print on the sauce and let the sauce be the label. Looks great. As we... Here are some really tiny ingredients. We got spring water, onion, fresh, hot, and sweet peppers, pineapple, mango, papaya, carob, white vinegar, prepared mustard, blah, 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 rum, garlic, and spices. Organic. And, uh, yeah, Mark's condiments from Montreal. Nice. I mean, it sounds good. <laughs> I like mustard-based hot sauces a lot. And I, I just, look at it. It's pretty, man. Ooh, all right. On to the Malaysian Mother of Pearl Hot Sauce Tasting Spoon. There's a nice little blob of a little more there. Lovely. Yeah, you see it's just a nice, pretty... Uh, it looks like mustard, but with a much more pronounced orange, which I think is from all the fruits, the mango, the papaya, and whatnot. Uh, chunks throughout. It's a nice consistency. Man, it looks good on the spoon, doesn't it? That smells real savory, and I do get the papaya. Uh, it's kind of like the backbone of everything, and it's like just cro just straddling that line of like sweet and spicy, and it kind of goes with the pepper blend. It's just this real nice, it smells more like sweet bell peppers than anything to me, and they don't really give you a lot of info about what peppers they're using. Yeah, ooh, I, I like that. It just smells fruity, but also very savory, and it's going in my mouth now. <laughs> Got a little kick. Mm. There must be some scotch bonnets or habaneros or something in there because it's got a really quick bite. Like it just jumps right on you. It's not too crazy, but it's got like a nice little, very immediate, like scratch in the face as soon as you put it in your mouth. Yeah, it's got to be scotch bonnets because it tastes a bit like scotch bonnet. And it's got that kind of roasty, black peppery back of the throat burn that scotch bonnets have. I like that. Mm. And we'll have more. Come on. Mm. It's not sweet at all. It's just a little bit fruity in like the aroma. And you get the papaya is pretty prevalent, almost as much as the mustard. It really works. And it's kind of one of the more subtle, like Barbados style hot sauces I've had. You know, because there's a lot, there's a bunch of them now. And some of them are like uh, Matooks, maybe, They're like real salty. And some of them are more like, uh, what's a good example? Um, like Inner Beauty, uh, which is pretty sweet. This is like kind of in the middle. Like it's not real salty, but it's it's definitely not sweet. And a burn, ah, man, probably like a three. Maybe, maybe yeah, I'd, I'd say a three, like a high three. It just gets you really quick. Actually, it starts to die down like pretty, pretty, pretty quick also. It makes it kind of fun. I think that... It, it, it makes it easier to eat a meal with a bunch of a spicy thing on it if it's like in and out kind of heat. <clears throat> the burn almost reminds me of like a like a chili piquin or like a bird pepper or something a little bit too. That's good stuff. Uh, I could totally see putting this on any kind of Caribbean food. I could try. I could totally see putting this on like some char grilled chicken, uh, chicken legs, chicken like dark meat. Chicken would be really good with it. I think you could do seafood too. It tastes pretty good. Dessert? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, uh, you could try it, but I think where this is going to be most at home is when you're grilling out and you've got like some slightly islandy stuff going on. You know, if you got some rice and you got like some, you got some citrus marinated chicken or fish that's like charred on the grill. Dude, this is going to be so good. Yeah, highly recommend. Uh, it's it's super tasty. Uh and price wise, it's a bit high for what you're getting, I think. I mean, it's organic, so they can get away with it a little more. But weirdly, it's 15 bucks on Amazon, but only 12 on Heatonist. It's kind of weird that Heatonist is the cheap one. It almost never happens, but here, here we are. Uh, but 12 is kind of a lot. So, you know, there's a, <laughs> damn near any other Barbados style hot sauce I've had has been cheaper. <laughs> um, it's probably, yeah, definitely the most expensive one. Buy, buy a few bucks, I think. So you really got to be in the market specifically for like a highly refined mustardy Caribbean style hot sauce. Uh, if it were me, I don't know, man. 
I, I think you get just as much enjoyment out of like inner beauty and you'd be more down in the seven or eight dollar price price range or uh hot bahan barbecue uh, is a good one that's another under 10 um that you could check out yeah i mean but if you tried those and you're just like hey i i, I want to try like uh, a very reserved refined barbados style hot sauce and I, I don't mind spending i mean sure but against this, the kind of stuff that, that it, you know, like it's it's probably like five bucks more than most of its competition. Uh, that's, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's very good, but it's pretty pricey. So you make your own decision. And of course, some of that is because you got to import it. It's Canadian. So, so it's going to add to the price if you're in the U.S. But anyway, make up your own mind. I think it's a little expensive for what you get. But that said, it's real tasty. Great looking bottle. Nice to have in the collection. Definitely enjoyed uh, tasting it. I hope this was informative. Uh, click like if you enjoy this kind of thing. Click subscribe, click the bell. We do spicy stuff on the regular and I've got lots more hot sauce reviews to come. A couple other oddball products indeed. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing a little bit of some pepper season type festivities. It's gonna be a, couple, a little while yet before there's any peppers like growing, growing, but dude, we're getting there. The weather's starting to turn. Texas is already getting its weird out of season tornado stuff that goes on now. Thanks nature. Um, yeah. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great day. Uh, I will catch you very soon. I got new videos every week on Chili Chun. Thanks for watching.